Uh, thank you for joining this session, uh, this talk. I think the other talk is over running a little bit, so um, I think it might take a few minutes for everyone to join this uh, presentation. But nonetheless, you know, we start on time, maybe start slow at the, at the start. Uh, so I'm delighted to introduce Dr. Christoph uh, Kreisbeck, uh, C CEO of Kibotics, a very exciting company out of Boston. He's actually joining us uh, from Boston today. And he'll be telling us about autonomous self-driving labs and AI uh, with a focus on optoelectronics uh, or optoelectronic materials. Uh, so the stage is yours, uh, Christoph. You have 15 minutes, two, two minutes before the end. I will intervene to let you know that you have two minutes. And to the audience, yeah, please ask questions. Yeah, thanks, you Kasha, for the kind introduction and also welcome everyone. And again, my name is Christoph Reisbeck. I'm Chief Commercial Officer at Kibotics. And first of all, I would like to thank the organizers for putting together this event and also for giving me the opportunity to speak in this timely session. So the chemical industry is undergoing currently a digital transformation and the young fields of materials informatics and artificial intelligence have already shown several success stories. And now we see that these technologies are getting more and more adopted by our industry. So in this presentation, I will show you how we at Kibotics leverage these new technologies around autonomous self-driving labs and artificial intelligence to not only accelerate materials innovation programs, but to um, improve the overall efficiency of R&D in general. Sustainability digitalization is arguably one of the most relevant global megatrends in the chemical industry. And Accenture actually expects that digital R&D alone will unlock a $150 billion opportunity. And so accordingly, um, we see that there's a significant momentum gain and momentum shift in our industry. And the young fields around materials informatics and AI are fast growing uh, compound aggregate growth rate of 26%. And 80% rank AI as their top investment priority. Over a third of the chemical champions invest over half a billion to execute on their digital strategies. And 70% who do invest in AI see their efforts as either beneficial or extremely beneficial. So clearly this digital transformation is happening and it is happening now. So at Kibotics, we uh, fully embrace the benefits brought by these new opportunities in terms of the technology. And uh, we accelerate the complete cycle of materials innovation starting from having an idea of a new material to having a proven sample in the application. And the core of our company is our technology platform where we combine artificial intelligence and lab automation and put it into an integrated platform to enable autonomous closed loop discovery. We spun out of Harvard University in 2018, closed our Series A 2020. Currently, we are an interdisciplinary team of 25. We have diverse backgrounds ranging from um, organic chemistry to material science, but also to data science, deep learning and computer science. We find patterns on both our technology platform, but also on materials IP that we discover in our own development. And we are proud that we have won several partnerships with companies where we got the opportunity to demonstrate and prove out the benefits brought by these new technologies. So Kibotics participates in the full cycle of materials development for certain market domains. And currently our strength is in optoelectronics, but we are expanding our capabilities towards a green and sustainability focus. So we have established a machinery to fully um, accelerate the development of new materials IP, starting from the molecular discovery to having a KG sample that we can test and that's ready for scale up. And then the idea is to partner for manufacturing with established manufacturer. So our mission of the company is to enable materials discovery at volume and speed. And to reach our goal, our engine is our self-driving lab. And here we combine and integrate four technologies, which is the artificial intelligence, the simulations, so we use computational modeling, then the data management, and of course, the lab automation. And again, we put everything together to and facilitate a closed loop discovery process. So data then becomes connected and our scientists can supercharge the R&D programs using data insights and AI driven decision making. However, to fully realize this aspiration, we have to improve technologies in mainly three areas. So it's the AIML itself, then also data management and integration. 